Good afternoon from Snake Mountain Boat Works on Thursday, December 22. I've continued working on the 1959 17 foot Chris Craft Sportsman, releasing the deck planking, the covering boards, etc. And here is an update on what I found. In general, what I found was really a frame that is in just superb condition almost entirely. As you can see as we scan the foredeck, there really is virtually no evidence of water infiltration anywhere. Everything is as solid as the day it left the factory. What's also interesting on this boat, I mean, we've done probably five of these 17-foot uh, sportsmen at this, at this point, this being the sixth. And one of the issues in, with the rub rail is that it's hollow-backed, it's very thin, and you can always tell when a boat has encountered an unfriendly dock or an unfriendly mooring because the uh, stainless steel is dented. Well, when these boats left the factory, Chris Craft installed a piece of, of wood behind them that was shaped and acted as a backing for the, the rub rail. This boat retains all of its original rub rail backing. Some of it is split and cracked and moves around a little bit, but that's all right. We'll, we will be very, very careful. Um, it's a good thing that uh, we release the uh, foredeck planking because this dashboard must be reupholstered. And as you can see, all of the planking terminated and landed on the top of the dashboard. So, uh, sometime next week, uh, RJ and I will release all the gauges, all the switches, the steering wheel, and then the dashboard. What's not so pretty is the bilge. The bilge, well, let's just call it what it is. It's ugly. Uh, we're hoping for some above freezing weather next week. Uh, once I release the transom planks that must be released, uh, we will drag her outdoors, fire up the industrial pressure washer and the simple green super industrial strength degreaser and do everything we can to get this residue that, well, it's essentially a swamp. Uh, so, I guess what we're saying is we have to drain the swamp. Now we come to the aft deck and I received a couple of emails from people wondering why in heaven's name we would release these two planks. They were varnished, why don't we just strip them, refinish them and everything would be fine. Well, first of all, let's talk about the stripping piece. If you are going to release bungs on planking that is varnished, be prepared for tearing out, tearing out the edges of the holes. The varnish adheres to the bung and adheres to the wood around the countersink. And as you pop that bung out, it's very likely that a big chunk of wood is going to come with it. So my first step here because there was quite a bit of residual varnish on the aft deck was to strip both it and the transom completely so that we can see what lies beneath but back to the question why in heaven's name do you go to all this trouble it looked just perfect look at those screw heads what color do you see I see green and black and more green. I did not find, uh, uh, 
I, no, I did not find a single fastener in the process of releasing these two planks that was not green. Um, brass turns green when it gets wet. So the reason we release these is that it's quite clear that water had infiltrated the bungs in every single countersink on both planks. So now that we have them free, we can treat all the framing beneath these planks with uh, clear penetrating epoxy sealer, bilge paint, uh, to the point where this incredibly original boat will be rot proof for ages and ages and ages to come. So we will keep working. The only rot issue we have discovered is right here, port side. Uh, the windshield comes in right here somewhere. Here's, here's the dashboard. We'll have to fabricate and install a Dutchman starting from about here to about there. But since this rail is covered with planking and behind the stainless steel, everything is going to be hidden in terms of the, of the uh, joints. So, we wish you happy holidays, Merry Christmas, and we'll be back to you sometime next week. Goodbye for now from Snake Mountain Boatworks.